Okay, hi, uh, my name is Hanyu Barrison. Uh, from Cologne. From Cologne. A guest I'm here in Frankfurt. Precisely, yeah. at the conference. Yeah, I'm happy to see you here in Frankfurt. My name is Achim Geisenhans-Lücke. Uh, I'm teaching comparative literature here in Frankfurt. Yeah. So I got a first question referring to a paper where you um, refer precisely to different dates. The first date is um, Deleuze and Guattari's first appearance in the United States of America in 75 and the second one is in uh, 86 again both of them in the united states of america uh, we're now in uh, 2018 i would just like to have some uh, appreciation of you uh, about the difference between these three dates right i mean the first thing is uh, should explain why why dates uh, and basically my general the uh, idea is that I want to develop or talk about an ecological aesthetics and uh, I think any kind of ecological aesthetics needs to be time and site specific because ecology is always time and site specific. So it's circumstantial and it's also, if you want to call it that sort of situationist, not in the political sense of situationism, but basically it, it's always happening in a situation. Mm -hmm. And I took these dates uh, in a sense because these were important situations for the presence of, as you said, Deleuze and Guattari, and especially Guattari uh, in America. And the first one this was very interesting. It's in 1975, and, and the concept, or the, not the concept, but the context, uh, is a, a sort of a meeting of people on, and a conference on schizoculture, mm -hmm. which means that a lot of countercultural people were there. It was very chaotic. Mm -hmm. uh, there was a, a lot of uh, controversy during that. It was uh, sort of convened by a semiotext. text. Mm -hmm. uh, Foucault was there, Deleuze, Guattari was there, uh, Lyotard was there. And uh, it, it ended basically in, in, a, in a semi-disaster and Deleuze Guattari left one day before the conference closed. And, oh. uh, there were a lot of political mm -hmm. sort of tensions there. So that was the first meeting of the two with the American, uh, so sort of New York, um, academ not academia, but also sort of cultural uh, context. And then the second one was also interesting, and this time it was only Guattari who was invited to uh, the uh, 1986 MLA, Modern Language Association of America conference. And he gave a paper, and uh, there's not a lot of information about the paper that you can actually find, but it must have been very controversial also because uh, the MLA at that point was an extremely sort of deconstructive and, 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 and sort of was based on the logic of the signifier and it was everywhere there was the signifier and obviously you know, one knows that if it's about Qatari he, he is critical of the signifier and of uh, sort of the, anything that's related to uh, the logic of the signifier and I found these two moments uh, sort, of, sort of interesting in the way that he tries to inject a kind of an ecological thought into something that was very deconstructive in a way, so Foucauldian and Derridian. Uh, so I took these two so, so the moments really to see how Guattari, especially in the second moment, develops. And so what do you think about today? Because right. obviously there's a deconstruction, if I might say so, is over. Yes. Uh, uh, maybe that's time for comeback for, for uh, Deleuze Guattari or... Right, yeah. and I, I would see it like that in a sense because what we had in between 86 and, and now sort of uh, 18 is that we had what people might call sort of the ecological turn. And, and maybe if you go back to that moment uh, of 86 you can reassess in a way what Guattari was trying to do. Mm -hmm. um, and I think probably it didn't really... Uh, work in 86, because I imagine these people not to have understood anything of what he says. It's very sort of obscure also, and it's very jargon, mm -hmm. uh, so, so, so sort of heavy. But I think exactly sort of in 2018, uh, some of the things that he wants to develop for aesthetics um, sort so of would fall onto more open ears in that sense. Mm -hmm. um, and. Uh, I think that's why I thought to bring it back up. Mm -hmm. um, and it's interesting that you're talking about Gattari, because right. we used to talk always about yeah. Deleuze Gattari. Sometimes we forgot the name Gattari right. and only quote uh, uh, Deleuze. Is there, right. no, is, uh, 
is there a rediscovery of, of, of Gattari, this mm -hmm. very famous couple of uh, two right. philosophers, yeah, yeah. psychoanalysts? Right. Theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I think sort of basically you had Deleuze studies and there was Gattari sometimes when mm -hmm. you worked with Deleuze was mm -hmm. there. I think what's happening at the moment is a renewed interest in, uh, in Gattari. Mm -hmm. And uh, if, if I talk about myself, basically I did a lot of Deleuze and then I read uh, mm -hmm. Gattari's Schizoanalytic Cartographies, which is mm -hmm. a really wonderful book uh, where he over like mm -hmm. almost 200 pages mm -hmm. describes one basic diagram mm -hmm. and it's obsessive but it's also extremely interesting uh, because Gattari was very often, especially in relationship to Deleuze, he was the unordered, the crazy, the activist, and Deleuze was... I always thought that Deleuze is quite unordered. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right. No, <laughs> someone who's seeking philosophy, yeah. Right. No, but he was the activist, the political person, and, and, and for instance, Zizek says that Gattari basically... Uh, took away from the, the stringency mm -hmm. of, of, of Deleuze, so he was always the bad guy. Mm -hmm. And I think sort of that what you see in the last years is that people rediscover Gattari. Mm -hmm. You know, so that under all this kind of activism, there's a very, very mm -hmm. sort, sort of clear and, 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 and sort of very, very ordered mm -hmm. uh, mind. Mm -hmm. and that's, that, that's a very interesting thing because I, uh, I have to reread uh, uh, apparently, uh, Gattari again. <laughs> uh, there's, I mean, the main difference between Deleuze and Gattari, of course, is that Gattari's theory is much more relies much more on on uh, on, uh, on Lacan. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. There's one uh, notion uh, um, that you're referring to in your paper. It's uh, the very famous notion of the wheel in Lacan. Mm -hmm. I would like to know whether there is a link, whether you see a link between the real and the Lacanian sense and the new material turn in the, in the humanities now. Right, yeah, yeah, that, that's extremely uh, important and I think that's ultimately what sort of the intervention by Gattari into the logic of the signifier has to do with the real. Mm -hmm. uh, because basically in psychoanalysis, and that's one of the criticisms by Gattari, uh, the, only materiality that you have in psychoanalysis, and in Lacan more than in Freud, mm -hmm. uh, is the materiality of the signifier. And if you're talking about the materiality of the signifier, you're talking about the materiality of language, mm -hmm. and you're immediately into a kind of Saussurian universe. Mm -hmm. uh, whereas Gattari, and, and, and this is, you, you're completely right, uh, sort of Gattari tries to, to sort of basically integrate uh, material objects or the materiality of the world, not even material culture, mm -hmm. but the materiality of the world as such, and mm -hmm. the materiality of the world not as dead, mm -hmm. but as a kind of what he calls an abstract machine mm -hmm. or a rhizomatic mm -hmm. uh, sort of assemblage. Mm -hmm. And he tries to ultimately sort of take the Lacanian or triangle, mm -hmm. imaginary, symbolic, and real, mm -hmm. and he wants to fill the real mm -hmm. uh, with the world. Mm -hmm. Whereas in, in Lacan, basically, the real is extremely important, but it's excluded. Mm -hmm. uh, and that is basically the movement where I think mm -hmm. Gattari, especially for material culture studies, Mm -hmm. uh, and for ecology, and ecology also, of course, is concerned with the materiality of the mm -hmm. world. Mm -hmm. So these two things come together, and there might be a moment where Gattari might become yeah. sort of important. Yeah. And what's the, the impact of the aesthetics in the right. structure? Maybe? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, th this diagram uh, that Gattari uh, develops, there's two uh, sort, of, sort of moments in the diagram that relate to every subject. And one is the senses, or sensation, and one is sense. Mm -hmm. Which basically, sort of, I think you could, if you do a little bit of terminological engineering, could say is the symbolic and the imaginary in, mm -hmm. in Lacan. Mm -hmm. and, uh, the, but you could also read it into the things that uh, the conference is interested in, and these are two forms of aesthetics, and that is, on the one hand, the Baumgartian mm -hmm. uh, aesthetics of the senses, Right? And that would be sort of aesthesis, mm -hmm. uh, which would be one the element. The sense of the word, yeah, aesthesis. Yeah. Right, mm -hmm. precisely. And it's sort of a judgment by the senses. And then you have the judgment by the mind or cognition, which has to do with sense. Mm -hmm. And you can see, of course, that there's also a kind of um, 
a memory of an echo of Deleuze who, who writes about sense and sensation, you know, the logic of sense and the logic of sensation. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and these two moments or these two positions in the diagram, I thought, could mm -hmm. easily be, or well, not easily, but could be mm -hmm. sort of superposed onto the topic of the, uh, the conference because Guattari basically says, well, both of those are important, that, that there's not really a separation between that the, they're formally different but, but not yeah. sort of yeah. and if I if I understand your paper right we see also a transgression of the uh, the border between theory and art mm -hmm. for example claim that uh, Gattari does conceptual performance art right yeah I was thinking I was trying to imagine basically sort of how the people who are imagined as Foucauldians, Derridians, uh -huh. Lacanians who come to this talk by, by Gattari uh, how would they have reacted? Uh, so, so, so on page three of that talk, basically, he says a signifier is, has ravaged our theory and our culture, and how these people react. And they would have been really rattled, uh, in a way. They would, either they would say, no, I don't want this, or they, they might have been sort of shaken out of their sort of normal ways of, of thinking what such a talk would do. And it's really nice because the talk should have been called Cracks in the Text. <laughs> and and Guattari says, oh, I, I really can't do that because I don't like really the text, so let's call it Cracks in the Street. Uh -huh. And that's also the material uh -huh. term in there. Um, and, and I thought that in a sense, what he did there at this moment was not only talk about aesthetics, but, but have itself an aesthetic moment. Do it. Right? And, and do the right thing. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, precisely, and, 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 and sort of the danger, which might not have been a danger really, is that people would not have understood. Mm -hmm. You know, they would just go and, and say, I don't understand this, but this is exactly what very often you have mm -hmm. when you're confronted with art. Mm -hmm. So it's a, it's a kind of provocation, a, a provocation of art, and, and, and also so, sort of a kind of the life of art, mm -hmm. is to, to make us think anew. And in a way that I thought, maybe you could consider this as a kind of 30-minute uh, conceptual or performance Perform art, art. Okay. you know, because he knows, of course, that these people will not understand mm -hmm. a lot of what he says because they don't know the diagram, and he maps sort of paintings by Balthus onto the diagram. Uh, anybody who hasn't read a lot of Guattari will, mm -hmm. will understand this finally. Okay, okay Henry. thank you very much for hey. having me. Hmm? Thank you. So it was great. Yeah, thank you very much. Okay. okay.